Wagwan. So, listen. I was a shit barber. Now, before we before we get into this video, before we get into this video, there you look a bit more of that today, a bit more. Before we get into this video, I want you to go to my Instagram. Go to my Instagram. I posted a video earlier today about me. One of the mistakes that you men make is you guys try and be the best being the shit barber. And I was talking in that generally. I didn't go into detail, but I thought, I'm going to sit down and do a video on YouTube and talk about it a little bit more and we can see what's going on. So, why I wanted to do this is like, I wanted to say that it's okay to be the shit barber. And what I mean by that is like, when I was cutting, when I was back cutting her or whatever, whatever, I was actually known in, my shop had three people in, well four, but mainly three. And I was always known as the shit one. So out of, out of the three, I was known as the shit one out of the three. And that was partly because they probably were better than me. But, sorry, I just had a beer. They probably were better than me. But, and here's a big but with this. It was me. It, it, was, it was me who, I was making it worse. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was making it worse. It wasn't like there was just... Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I was making it worse. Like, what I would do is, like, say a, cu a customer came in. He wanted, like, a, he's got dark hair, he wanted, like, a low skin fade, pointy beard, everything perfect. He's one of them. He'd get the mirror and he'd be, like, like looking at himself and all that. I would do his hair, number one, way faster than the other ones did it. And number two, I'd fuck it up a little bit. I wouldn't butcher it. I'm not I'm not saying you should put holes in people's hair, but you just want to do it so they know. You want to do it so they know it's shitter. So when they've got the mirror out and they're looking in it, there's that maybe that bit of darkness in the fade that you know your boy at the side of you wouldn't do. Or maybe when they wash it, when they get home, there's a little couple of uneven bits. But the haircut itself is, is, is generally good. The, you know what I mean? You got your, your lines are good and blah, blah, blah. But you just do it a little bit shitter. And you make yourself be worse than the other people. So then them customers who take up your time, who annoy you, who ruin your day, they don't wait for you. And once I got this into my head, that allowed me to make the money to make T-Pop. Because... None of them waited for me anymore because they knew. They came in the shop, it was a walking shop, they had a choice. Should we go to T-Pop and get an average haircut or maybe kind of shitty, whatever you want to call it? Or should we go to these two and get a slow, precise, excellent haircut? They wanted the excellent haircut and I'd get the farmers, I'd get the randoms walking in, I'd get the old men. I'd get the free back and sides. Come on. And when I see the I'd, I'd be talking to him, talk to the old man about s stocks and shares and how's your farm or why did you make money? Trying to get a little information off them all, you know what I mean? I, one of them told me to invest in uh, Shell. I did. I actually did and I made a good bit of money off that. That was a good one. Um, that's just one. That's nothing to do with this, really. But, yeah, so I get all them people did fall back and sides. And I, that was my goal. I didn't want... Because we was a walking shop. We was busy. I didn't want any clients. I wanted the walk-ins. I wanted the guy with a fall back and sides to come in, sit down, and just let me do it. And I wanted them to be too busy. Do you get what I'm saying? I wanted them to be busy with the dickheads. So I got all the normal people. And it worked. It was a good... It's a good tactic. And that's what I'm trying to say to you about the internet as well and with your career online or whatever business you want to do is that it's okay to be the shit barber. So I took that, being the shit barber, in real life, and I put it on Instagram. I was, you wasn't trying to fight against, like, what... Like, 
this is the trouble where people do. Like they try and and you get this along with the internet. You get it from if you look at everybody's internet, everyone tries to be perfect. You've got guys with no money posing with fucking cars and watches and chains and stuff like that. You've got girls photoshopping the ass or even if you've got a nice ass you've got them so obsessed with how they look the, the photoshopping the pictures are bending over like that it's all bullshit and we're all trying to fit into this perfect thing and barbers do it as well we're all trying to do the perfect fade this cleanly polished content we're like a bit nervous about oh lord and stuff we want to be the best i want to be like just the Monica or whoever you want to be like, for whatever reason you want to be like them. No, just look at what you're good at. I was good at being the shit barber. I was good at make. There's two things I was good at. One, being the shit barber and making money in the shop. And two, sorry, taking the piss out of everyone. Like, there's when you, every shop has barbershop banter, right? Every shop has someone who's just sharper than everyone else. Who, like, you, you say something, everyone would laugh. Someone would try and make fun of you. Like, bam, you're on them straight away. And people would react. Like, I was just always that guy. So I took them two things and I put them on, on the internet. I didn't try and be a blurry barber. In fact, I didn't do any fucking haircuts online. I didn't try to be politically correct. I was the same dickhead as I was in the shop. And it worked. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. So figure out what you're actually good at. Not what you think are the criteria for your job. So you look at, oh, I want to I want to be a barber. I need a blurry fade, good customer service. Fuck that. You're not good at that. You fade to average at best. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like me trying to compete with fucking Mr. Olympia. And I'm like going, you're going, yeah, come on, bro. And you every day you're trying to be a, the, the muscliest best body ever and it's just like no just accept who you are accept who you are and do the best of that because being the very right so being the very best shit barber is better than being the 9783 of the blurry fade barbers you know what i'm saying so yeah so i hope you've learned something from this whether it's just how to make more money in the shop and i'll i'll do another video on this later on because especially if you're in a walking shop that is particularly like a particularly good idea but yeah that's just that's just my my opinion i think even if what you're good at is looked upon as you're a scumbag you're a bad person or you're shit at it Hammer down on it. Just just get it done. Get it done. Find your niche. And go that way. Fuck what they're telling you to do. Fuck what the other people do. Like, people still didn't think still don't think this is a good idea. But a tea bar's bad for the industry. Brother, look, this is a this is a clipper I designed, right? So and that's not been done before. So I'm going off track, I'm going off track, but yeah, peace out.